Well, hi, it's Jeannie in the Glass Studio today. And uh, I want to tell you a little bit about what I do to my poor husband. You see, I come up with these amazing ideas and I draw him up a sketch and I give it to him and I say, David, make this happen. <laughs> and so he'll have to go to his computer and he will draw it out on the computer. And uh, sometimes I like it, sometimes I fiddle with it for a while, and which only means we're a good team, right? So, but what we're working on today is I have these great, I don't know, are they plates? Are they the top to a butter dish? Not even sure what they are, but I thought this would be so cute in a window. But the th problem was, is they're a lot higher than the actual glass, the flat glass. So I put it all together, I cut it out, I foiled it, and then I take it to David and I say, okay, sweetheart, make it work. <laughs> so let it be so. And that's kind of what we're working on today. So I'm going to turn the time over to David and let him do his magic. All right. Ready? All right. Well, Jeannie's already explained to you how that there's nothing impossible. We just have to overcome the things we don't understand. So when she got this done, I, by the way, I think this is such a beautiful little window. It's got a real homey feel to me. And it looks like it's going to work. Now, what we decided was that if we put a couple of these, these pieces underneath it at, before it's soldered, we can raise this up and it'll raise it up to this, to this lip. You see, two, uh, two of them will just about fit perfectly so that if I have the glass on here, it'll come right up to this lip here. Well, that, that's good in theory, but if you look at it, now I'm looking down on it. After she's gotten everything foiled except for these two pieces, if you look at it, I was, I was saying to myself, let's see, this looks fairly close. Those grapes kind of encroach into where the, it'll hit the glass lip. Then you come over here and look, this piece of glass really encroaches. So, so what I did was I took the pattern pieces and I looked I compared them to these lids and they just didn't seem like they would they were the right size. So I made a thicker cardboard piece. And this is good. It's a little bit bigger than the lid. Just a little bit. So when I put it in here, look what happens. See, it's kind of it's not quite as wide, and so I have to push this over. Put that guy back in. <laughs> there it is. All right, so see, now it'll fit in there, and I know that this, that this piece will, f will fit down in when we go to solder. So it looks just perfect. Except now look what's happened over here on this side. Look at that line there. Uh, in order to get this to fit, I'm going to have to grind this or recut this so that it fits. And I'm going to have to do something about these grapes. Maybe I'm going to have to take those two out. I think I'll probably just take those two out. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trace here, cut that pull those two out. Okay, I'm going to do that. I don't need to show you how to do that. I'll just do it and we'll be right back.
Shazam! <laughs> See how different it looks? I've got this side soldered. Now, um, you know, I just tell Jeannie, this is just one of the best designs she's come up with. It's Aww, just great. Thank you. And, uh, and as a matter of fact, it's so good that one of our students was here earlier uh, while we were filming that other part, and she decided to buy it. So now I've got the two little grapes here removed. And what I did was, because I wanted to support it in the middle, I have come up with another plan. And that is I'm going to use these boards because they're about the right thickness. Tell them your client's plan. Oh, well then, she's going to take this and make a tray out of it. So it'll be pretty... Pretty cool. Now I have to slide this board back so that it doesn't hit the wood as it's going in. Okay, so now that it's lifted up, we ought to be able to fit these in. Now, this is another thing. We were going to put this in because this was going to be the bottom. But now she's going to make a tray out of it so she wants it to be up here well i was worried it wasn't going to fit but it actually could have been a little bit tighter and isn't she going to use these for to put something in it's kind of a cool thing And I just found these little plates just at a whole shop. Was it like a thrift store or something? Yeah, just like a thrift store. So you just, you know, first I find the thing and I bring it home and then it sits around for a while. <laughs> you say, I'll never figure out something to do with that. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I start laying it out and I think, I know what that's supposed to be. And then the client changes it a little bit and says, I want it to be a tray. Cool. Yeah, and I say, what? <laughs> Didn't she say something? I said, too late now? Yeah, she wanted to turn those over. Oh, really? Is that what it was? And you said, too late now. But David figures things out, like I was saying before. Give him a job, he'll figure it out. Okay, so now these are pretty wide gaps. So what we're going to do with them is probably tack this in place and see if I can get some solder or some foil to fill to fill things. Let's see here. So with these found objects, you have to improvise sometimes. Okay, now I have to get a little height on this end. Oh, Got to get it. I need it right here. I need it to come up. So let's see if I can. I like the idea that you, as our audience, are learning at the same time that we are. And so this is something that we've never done before, and we may never do again because you'll never find the same dishes, maybe. You know, we had a student one time, I was demonstrating this new technique that I had just figured out how to break glass without it crashing down, and she wondered why I had never taught her that before. And I said, because I've never done it before. Look, I've left this gap is a little bit wide. What do you think? I think you'll figure it out.
so I'm putting this foil over the other foil, the other two. That'll bridge the gap more easily. This has got some flux on it, so it's not sticking. Well, okay, this side's done. It took a lot of solder. Now I'm ready to flip it over. You can see how much ran through. And I'm gonna have to kind of scrape that out of the way. Now if I do this, I know that this side is standing up almost the same way as the other side was. So, now I can solder the back just like you'd solder any back. And I guess we'll be back with a few parting shots after the soldering's done. Okay. So here it is. It's not cleaned up yet, but you can see that it's finished. Here's this side, and it's going to be a tray. So it's going to go like that, and she is going to be able to put things inside of there. Um, we did uh, warn her that you cannot put any kind of food where there is um, the solder because there is it's 50 percent tin 50 percent lead so that wouldn't be good but you can put stuff in where there's just glass and this is the other side i think it just looks old timey it's kind of old-fashioned so what she plans to do is just use this as a tray she was talking about putting it in a wood frame and have um, a handle on either side and just set it on her counter. So I think that that turned out really nice. So good job to uh, David for the soldering. And <laughs> I am very excited to have you join us for this, this project that we kind of did together. And thank you for your help for being here to watch. 
And if you would like to watch any of our other videos, we would welcome you. We love to have you. Please visit our, our website and click on uh, the places to get on our video and uh, subscribe and we because we love you and we do this for you so thank you and we'll see you later